So what is Control D and how do we use it in PowerPoint? Control D will duplicate content for us. So for example, here on my slide, I have a circular shape with an icon on top and a text box, and this is grouped. So if I press Control D, I've then duplicated that content. I can realign it here using the guides in PowerPoint, press Control D again, and it will automatically pick up a series. Next, I can come into the second group, select the circle, and then I can change the color. I can select the icon and go to the graphics format tab and change graphic and choose a new icon and it will swap that icon over for me. Let's just search for another one. Let's go for this one here. And now all I need to do is edit my text. I can do that then and quite quickly build up content on a slide. So onto the next example, I have a headshot and it's been nicely formatted and cropped to give a lovely circular shape. Control D will duplicate. I can position it where it needs to go. Control D again if I've got more than one. So come into the middle headshot, click on picture format and change picture. And I have an example here where I have a portrait headshot and it's not really going to fit in very well because it's a different orientation and half of uh, my head is cut off. So what I can do here is press the crop button on the picture format tab and I can drag that image down so that it's a bit more central and it works a bit better. Now, if I was having these two headshots on a slide, I would actually want them to be similar size faces. So I'm going to click on the first one, click the crop button, and then I'm going to zoom in by dragging the image from the corner and repositioning. And now I've got two headshots that can work quite well together. On to the third example. That is how easy it is to create a waffle chart. I'm going to insert a shape, a square, and I'm going to press and hold the shift key and make that much smaller. I'm now going to duplicate and pop it next to the other one, make sure that's aligned. And now I can press my duplicate button eight times and it's going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to give me a series of 10 objects. So waffle chart is built up of 100 shapes. So I can select those and duplicate, control D, bring them up so that they're in alignment, probably about there, and then press control D again eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I now have my waffle chart. How a waffle chart works is that it's representing a percentage. So I can select a certain number of those shapes, change that to a gray color, and then maybe I've got another couple here. We're trying to say 66%. And there we go, there's my waffle chart. I can select all of that, group it, duplicate again if I wanted a second version, and then make any edits that I need to. We can also duplicate a slide at a slide level. So let's say I had one slide and I wanted to make some edits, but I wanted to keep the original one in case I liked it the way it was before, rather than undo, undo, undo. We can click on slide, control D, and that will duplicate the slide for us as well. So that's how to use control D. Uh, to make it very productive for you using PowerPoint. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, then please connect. Thanks very much.